In this report, we discussed how you could retire early cheap in Cambodia for 600 a month per person. Our last report asked whether it is better to retire in Southeast Asia or Latin America. Today, we explain what it would cost to visit or retire early cheap in Cambodia uh, per person. Our next few reports will continue to explore the best countries to live or retire cheap in the world. So make sure to subscribe so you don't you won't miss them. In one moment, Chung and I will discuss what we spent touring around Cambodia. Uh, now Chung and I will talk about our tricks and tips for touring Cambodia uh, as you slow travel around Southeast Asia. But there are 50 plus retired cheap reports at Vagabond Buddha. Uh, there's no need to take notes. I'll provide you with a link to my notes for uh, this and at the end of this video. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake. Bi Chang from Hobo Venture. And part of living in Southeast Asia is the power goes out sometimes and you get to camp indoors. <laughs> <laughs> but the show must go on. This is show business, right? Uh, so today we'd like to talk about um, we slow traveled through Cambodia for 16 days. Um, Cambodia is, would be like the equivalent of the Egypt of Southeast Asia. There's also Myanmar, which has all these beautiful uh, temples, and all of Southeast Asia is full of history. But, but Siem Reap in Cambodia is a place you have to see if you're in Southeast Asia. And so um, we wanted to tour around Cambodia and, and get an idea of what the cost of living is, what the life's like there, and also see Siem Reap and other places. So we did that. Yeah, so we tour around in the starting on Cap, Kampot, then Phnom Penh, Bantambang, and Samrit. Yes, and uh, what? Uh, um, well, let's talk about the money first because that's what people are always interested in. So we went to Cambodia. We went to the cities Chung just mentioned. We were there for 16 days as we toured around Southeast Asia. We entered uh, Cambodia from Vietnam on the south side and we exited uh, in the north into Thailand at the end of the 16 days. Uh, first, our basic living expenses, um, there's uh, rent, restaurants, groceries, local transportation, snacks, SIM card data, and our personal things, whatever, shampoo and that kind of thing. Um, the total living expenses for the 16 days uh, came out to $634 for both of us. Can we eat out? Yes, every day. every day we were eating out. In fact, probably two out of three meals, right? Because we didn't have a kitchen. Um, and so it's $40, $39 per day for both of us, including rent and everything. And then uh, per person, it comes out to about $20 per day. Uh, basic living expenses, meaning that if you multiply the daily rate um, for two people, uh, you would run around 1200 a month to live in Cambodia. Uh, but we really think you could knock that rate down because you wouldn't be eating so much in restaurants. And um, so maybe 1000 to 1200 Now that's just for rent, food, and local transportation, but it'll give you an idea. But you know why people go to Cambodia? Mostly to see Siem Reap? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to get happy. They want to get happy, yeah. You know what's meaning happy? In Cambodia, it means marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you cannot like <clears throat> you cannot escape all the yeah. <clears throat> marijuana everywhere. It's everywhere. You walk down the street, you smell it everywhere, particularly in Kampot. Um, we didn't smell it as much in other places, did we? Siem Reap or Siem Reap, not really. Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh, not really. And did we smell much in Batibang? Uh, we yeah. smell more in Cap Campot. Yeah. 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 Uh, Cap and Campot. Yeah. And not much. Right. Um, so, and Siem Reap. So there's Campot's kind of like a, would you call it a hippie town? Yes. A lot of hippies there. They're drinking beer, smoking pot. And, and it's eat. most uh, expat living in. A lot of expats. Different kind of country. Different kind of country. Yeah. They the open business over there. Yeah. And by the way, yeah, the expats open businesses. Um, so, by the way, each of these towns has a retired cheap report you can get at Vagabond Buddha. We're just summarizing right now. 
Um, so that's kind of a hippie town. What would you call Cap? Cap, I have no idea. It's kind Cap of a beach town. Yeah? It's kind of a beach town. But not much of a beach. The beach isn't that good. It's not it's that okay. good. It's okay. It's, it's a very, like a very small city, not city, small town. And people is very nice. And you still remember the German lady that... Yeah. She just enjoyed the uh, camp. But that was the bus ride. She lives in Campo, though. She right? lives in Campo. Yeah. She lives in Campo for six months. And then six months she will be live in Germany. Right, right. Germany. And she's been doing that for years, I think she said. No, 10 years. 10 years, yeah. 10 years. Right. And so that's the basic expenses. Um, now, we were there as tourists, so we spent things. Um, here's some optional expenses. Let me just give an idea. Uh, if you add alcohol uh, transfers between cities, now if you live there, you would just live in one city. You wouldn't be transferring all the time. So we, uh, for the 16 days, $128 in alcohol, $51 in transfers, $2 in souvenirs, and $341 on tours comes to $522 uh, as a tourist. Um, optional expenses, not living expenses. Uh, and that's thirty-two dollars per uh, per person per day, or uh, I'm sorry, per two people, or sixteen dollars um, per person. And so the total of basic and the uh, um, optional or tourist expenses runs about seventy-two dollars a day, or thirty-six per per person per day uh, if there's two of you. Um, so that's the difference. To live there would be a thousand to. I don't know, 1400 depending on what, for two people. And as tourists, you're going to spend maybe uh, fifteen to 1800 if you go for 30 days. Now, because you're going to go to want to go to Siem Reap, which includes, you know, the most beautiful temples really in Southeast Asia, yeah. and you're going to want to spend some time, um, you're going to take these tours. It costs money to get into the place. It costs money for the the tuk tuk to to, to you know, to drive you around the park you and it's uh, very cheap to to drive you one day from morning anytime like you want to see sunrise he will pick up you about five five yeah, o'clock right I think, five o'clock until six seven o'clock the whole day you only pay fifteen dollar yeah it's crazy cheap it's very cheap um and it's just so beautiful um Okay, so, um, and then Phnom Penh is just kind of a big colo old colonial city Yeah, it's around the river. Yeah, um, for me, because we are living in the, you know, easy area for us to Tourists, walk around. Yeah, we walked everywhere. So we not really go deep to see the other areas, so I cannot say. So in this five area, I prefer, uh, I prefer Batambang or uh, Camport. Uh, to live. To live. Yeah. And oh, another thing is the visa for uh, Asians when you go to Cambodia is thirty days free visa. Yeah, yeah. But for uh, for me it was thirty six, I think, thirty five maybe. Thirty five what? Dollars. And no need to pay. It's free. You're free. Yeah. Me thirty five. Thirty five dollar because an, you pay the agent to do agent. the thing. Yeah. yeah. Didn't that include our transfer too? Yeah, it's include transfer. I think your visa is about. 20 or 25 oh power's back on power's back on yeah um, so that was that include the transfer from southern vietnam into cambodia and the visa for 35 bucks by the way there's links to all the services we used on the retire cheap reports um what are your thoughts about um food um it's slightly like thai but no spicy it's like combination of Malay and Thai, yeah, and a little bit Chinese because you know all over you can find Chinese food over there. Also. Right, right. Yeah, it's something like the Thai, but it's more expensive than the Thai food for me. Yeah, um, it, the prices varied. If you ate, it's the same all over Southeast Asia. If you if you go to the local market and eat in the restaurants there, it's pretty cheap. But if you go to the tourist restaurants, it's uh, it's more expensive. The nice thing about Campo is it had all these, as Chum just mentioned. It had all these expats there that opened restaurants. So there's a French restaurant, Italian and restaurants, and then so there's a, a Irish pub. Heck, yeah. there's an Irish pub and everything. It's like ten country in that. Like I think we say that about like three day, two night or 
for the three yeah, nights. We meet ten different country of people, and they have a business over there. Full of expats. Full of expats. Yeah. So the food, I would say, um, yeah, it's it's a little bit like Thai. In fact, much of Cambodia was uh, dominated and controlled by Thailand for many years. So no wonder it picked up that. But the food, the food is is. Um, Maybe it's not the highlight of Cambodia, but it's still good. I mean, you can get good Thai food there and Chinese and foreign food there. Um, oh, foreign foods, yeah, in Tempo, the best. Right, right. Um, and I think that's, that's about it, right? I mean, can you think of anything else? Um, um, so if you're, slow tra if you're trying to pick Vietnam or Philippines or Thailand or Malaysia to retire cheap, uh, you need to do a, what I call an exploratory visit. And while you're doing that, you need to... You really need to see Cambodia. Um, you, may, it, you may fall in love with it. I, I can think of a few friends from high school that would really love to live in Cambodia. Um, like me, I never think uh, Cambodia is so interesting right. because everyone would think go uh, Cambodia is only Samrit and we go to see the Angkor Wat. Yeah. But the best thing because we take the bus, go through the border, and then stop by a stop, and then I fall in love to Kapot and Cap. Yeah. These two places. And Batambang, I love Batambang. It's full of color, you know. Yeah. Small. And so we did, I did refer to reports on Cap, Kampot, uh, maybe Kaps, I don't remember, but um, Batambang and Siem Reap. Siem Reap actually would be also be a good place to retire. There's actually more food choices there even than Kempo. Um, and in, it's more organized, it's big city. Yeah. yeah, and it has like, um, you know, it's not as good a hospital as like Bangkok, but it actually has a hospital at least. Um, and so if you're worried about health care, you know, you probably see Reap might be better than Kempo or Bat to oh. And it's so easy to travel to Thailand or Vietnam, you know, for the hospital. Yeah, I, I think when we, we left Cambodia, we flew, uh, you flew into Bangkok, and it was like $50 each for the airfare, right? Yes, including luggage and everything. Yeah, and yeah. so Cambodia doesn't have those silly rules that you have to fly in to get 30 days or whatever. Um, so you can you can enter on land uh, like we did through Vietnam, or you can enter on land through uh, Tha the Thailand side, or you can fly. So... Anyway, that's uh, that's our story. Thanks for watching. Any any other thoughts? If you like our video, then don't forget to give a like and comment something to let us know about your thoughts and yeah. subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, and uh, click above. You'll see uh, a little eye with a circle. Click on that, and you'll see three cards. One is Chang Hui's channel. Go over there and subscribe and watch some of her videos. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye. Take care. Pause the video now to read this important liability disclaimer that limits your rights. You can also find the disclaimer in the description below this YouTube video. Basically, your reliance on the information in our videos is strictly at your own risk. So seek appropriate professional advice before taking any action on our information. Uh, click the more information in the description below this YouTube video to get my Written notes for Retire Cheap in Cambodia at 600 per month uh, per person. While at that link, grab a free copy of my ebook, How to Fire Your Boss and Travel the World. My goal is to make this channel better every day, but I need your help. Please leave your new topic ideas, criticism, and other thoughts in the comments below this video. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, the YouTube channel for Vagabond Buddha. Please remember to like, comment, or subscribe. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner?